Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the side-by-side -side bar charts in Tableau. Side-by-side -side bar chart is one of the most useful Tableau visualizations to show metrics by different types. Sometimes, you will need to visualize the side-by-side -side bar chart over time, such as in a month, a quarter, and or a year. In this dashboard, I'm showing the monthly sales by three customer segments, including consumer, corporate, and home office in the year 2018. There are three fields I used to create the side-by-side -side bar chart, including the order month, customer segment, and sales amount. I want to discuss three different ways to make the side-by-side -side bar charts. Each approach has its pros and cons. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first method to create the side-by-side -side bar chart in Tableau. The first and also the standard side-by-side -side bar chart is pretty straightforward in Tableau. First, you need to drag and drop the order month and customer segment fields to the column shelf. Drop the sales amount field to the row shelf. Also drop the customer segment field to the color mark and make sure you change the chart type to bar chart. You can also hide the customer segment access header. But you will notice that the order month is still shown on the top of this bar chart. You can switch the sequence of the order month and customer segment fields in the column shelf and have the order month shown on the main x-axis. You will see the monthly sales trends for each customer segment, but you will not be able to view the sales made by different customer segments next to one another for a given month. So how to show the side-by-side -side bar chart with a time dimension as the main horizontal axis? Let's take a look at the second approach. In the second approach, you need to create a new calculated field. Here, I call this field axis for month. Inside the calculation, I put an if-else statement. If the index is 1, then I want to show the order month as a string, else I will show nothing. Next, you need to make a duplicate of the standard side-by-side -side bar chart, which we have just created. Then drop the axis for month field to the column shelf next to the order month and customer segment. Click this field to edit the table calculations. Choose specific dimensions and select customer segment only. Now you will see the new calculated field with the month label appears on the x-axis. You can also hide the original order month field label from the top of this chart. You might have noticed that the new order month label is only shown under the blue bars, which represent the consumer segment. Also, there are some white spaces between different bars in a given month. Using the second approach, you are able to compare the sales amount by different segments in a given month, but you cannot make a lot of adjustments to the label here because the order month label is determined by the field calculation itself. Now let's take a look at option 3. This approach is able to reduce the white spaces between the bars in a given month and also to show the monthly sales for different customer segments side by side with the time dimension on the x-axis. To do this, we need to manipulate the dataset a little bit. Click the Data Source tab. Choose to add new unions to your dataset. As you can see, I have unioned my orders dataset twice because I have three customer segments. If you have two segments, you will only need to union the dataset once. After you union the tables, there is a new field called table name being added to your dataset. Here it is. This field actually shows each dataset that you have brought into the union. We will use this field in the calculations later. Now let's go back to the sheet. We need to create a new calculated field. I call this field access for month 2. 
Inside the calculation, I use the if-else statement. If the table name is orders, then I want to show the first day of the order month. Else if table name is orders 1, then I want to show the sixth day of the order month. Else if table name is orders 2, then I will show the 11th day of the order month. We need to create three more calculated fields. Each of these fields will represent the sales amount for a specific customer segment. For sales made by the consumer segment, I put if table name is orders and customer segment is consumer, then sales else no. Similarly, for sales made by the corporate segment, I put if table name is orders 1 and customer segment is corporate, then sales else no. Lastly, for sales made by the home office segment, if the table name is orders 2 and customer segment is home office, then sales else no. Let's take a look at these new fields in the table. In this table, it shows the original order month, the newly created order month axis, and the sales made by each customer segment, and the total sales across customer segments. For any given row, there is one sales amount shown for a specific customer segment. When you add up the diagonal of the sales amount across the three segments in a given month, it will represent the total sales amount in that month. Now we can create the side-by-side -side bar chart using these calculated fields. Drag and drop the new axis for month 2 to the column shelf. Make sure you set the state field to continuous and date granularity to day. Drop the measure values to the row shelf and only select three calculated fields, including the consumer sales, corporate sales, and home office sales. Drop measure names to the color mark and change the chart type to bar chart. You will see a side-by-side -side bar chart with the order month label shown on the x-axis. One thing I want to mention is that you can actually tweak the calculated field to adjust the distance between the bars. For example, if I change the number from 5 to 6 and from 10 to 11, the gap between the bars will become wider. Here are all the three ways you can use to create the side-by-side -side bar chart with the time dimension in Tableau. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.